All right, so I do see this question a lot, is how do you keep your design in the same spot on the mat when you go and cut it? And it's very confusing to some people out there to include myself when I first started using this. And I think the reasoning behind, at least my confusion anyway, is because I'm relating these grid lines here and I see my little design area and I'm moving something here and I, I expect when I click go, that would be in that relative position. And what Cricut is doing anyway, it is shoving uh, that top left corner and I'll show that right here, of this, when I select this, this is the top left position corner that it is shoving up there to the top left. So how can we work around that? Well, we can, and I'm going to show you how in this video. One of the other things that we need to take in consideration, though, uh, if I click the Go, you'll notice that we have these lines right here. Okay, and that represents the boundary that we have. Typically, you would think that we'd have a 12 by 12 cutting area. However, we do not, and they are limiting you a quarter of an inch on all sides of the mat. Okay, so we have to keep that in mind as well whenever we're trying to determine the positioning. Now, what I would like to do uh, in this anyway is have this top left corner uh, be exactly right there. Uh, at the six mark, at the six inch by six inch mark. Now, of course, I can I can place it there myself. But how can we, uh, you know, use values inside Cricut Design Space in order to put it there? So let's go back into uh, Design Space and try that out. All right. So now, how do we trick it, right? So how do we tell Design Space we would like to have this? item here cut at the 6-6 six, six mark. Well, we need to give it a reference point or an anchor point uh, to be more exact. And uh, we're going to do this with a simple shape. Now, I do see a lot of people out there and they suggest, well, why don't you just put a square out here uh, and that will represent the rectangle of the mat. So they would increase this to 11 and a half by 11 and a half because that's what uh, Cricut Design Space allows us to cut. And you can use this as a reference. All right. So we're not going to do that, but we are going to use this square here. And what I plan on doing is I'm going to shrink this down. And I really don't care how big it is because I really don't really need it. I just need its top left corner of it. All right, and that's what I'm going to use as the reference point. So keep in mind that I said earlier that those yellow, those little yellow borders on there represent a quarter of an inch uh, on the mat border that we cannot utilize. So let's go ahead and put this dot on that quarter inch mark. So I'm going to go over here to edit and right over here on the position for X and Y. So I am going to utilize this grid. I am going to utilize this space area for telling my objects where I want them to cut when I click go. So using this reference marker right here, I'm going to change this to 0.25 and that represents a quarter of an inch. I'm going to hit the enter key. Next, I'm going to go ahead and click 0.25 for the Y axis, and I'm going to hit Enter. So that is now my point of reference whenever I'm aligning these shapes too. So in reference to this, I am going to place this tag here, this Scrappy-Doo Classroom tag. Uh, like I said, I want this top little left corner right here to be at my 6-6 six, six mark on my mat. So let's go ahead and do that. Now that we have this reference dot here, I can actually use the real values of whatever the mat uh, is, and I can put that in here. So for the X, I'm going to put 6. For the Y, I'm going to put 6 as well. Now when I select everything, I have to select everything. This is the key part to this. I select everything, and I go to my Layers panel, and I click Attach. So now you'll see that I have this little little square right here, but when I click go, we should see that this is one big huge shape because I'm going to be able to click on it here. You can see that uh, this is a shape, but when I push it to the far left, and Cricut already did that for me when I first clicked the go, that we are exactly at the, here's the six going down, and here's the six coming across, and that's how we can put things in relation to this little anchor point. 
Now, keep in mind that you can always add more things to this, but you, you want to make sure that if you are trying to place items uh, relative to this, that you do need to select everything and click attach. All right. So you, you select everything and click attach. And now when I click go, these items will now be in reference to each other, but they are all in reference to that top left corner in design space. So hopefully that helps you understand how we can utilize this. Um, you know, keep in mind that's just a tiny little dot. It's really not going to cut much paper, and we just needed it for the simple fact of that top left corner. So if you like this tutorial and you want to see more of these, uh, go ahead, subscribe to our channel. We will have lots of videos. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Hey, and uh, thanks for checking us out. Bye.